<laughs> hey guys, it's Edward, and for this week's video, I am doing a story time. Woo! Fun! Okay, I've never made a story time before. I kind of, I'm kind of bad at freaking telling stories, but you know, you live and you learn. Hopefully, I do better in the future, like for future story times. But let's get into the story. Okay, so this story starts off, you know, like a normal day. My friends and I were about to go to war tour, you know, gonna have a blast, you know, I'm like gonna be an emo for a day. Probably not that, but like it was gonna be fun, it was hot by the time that we were on our way, it was only like 8 a.m. But you know, wearing shorts, tank top, freaking all that kind of stuff, cause we knew we were preparing for this. We knew we were gonna be dying. This is like the first thing that happened before we even did a warp tour. We literally are driving down the street when we see this guy laying on the like the road unconscious, like passed out. And people are going like, no, go the other way, get in the other lane, get in the other lane. Cause he was passed out, we were driving by like, what happened? We, he was like in biker gear, so we were thinking, okay, maybe he had like a bad accident on his bike and he knocked himself out. So we get into the other lane. The people are like literally on their phones, freaking like, I don't know, I'm hopefully calling 911 because this guy was knocked out. He was literally just laying like this. <laughs> there was no movement. His bike was like on the sidewalk while his. I don't know, other things were like scattered across the road, but we drove by and that's the last time we saw that. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah. So from there, we drive, we get to Warp Tour, you know. If you don't know where Warp Tour is, it's a, it's like a serious concert type thing. I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but it's like, so we get there. The first band we see was the main. They were pretty good. So after that, we freaking continue on, go, go to see the Somerset. Never, like, I've only heard one of their songs, they were actually pretty good. They performed that song, which was like, okay, I like this, I can jam out. We saw Mayday Parade, they were good. Next, we see Sleeping With Sirens. Okay, this is where the story begins. Cool, some of it. We get there, literally, 13 year olds everywhere. They were literally everywhere, and me being like, kind of taller than them, I was able to see like perfect view of like the stage. So I was like, yes, happy about this. Okay, so it's my friend next to me on this side, me standing right here, and then there's just this girl standing like right, like almost next to me, but in front of my friend that was standing like next to me. There was this 13 year old girl, I swear she was 13, I don't know, don't quote me on this. She was standing right there in front of me next to this guy. Literally, like the show's about to start. I mean, they're like about to perform. This girl decides it's a freaking amazing idea to get on this kid's shoulder. No, literally, ho, oh, what were you doing with your life? It was not okay when she was on his shoulders. You literally saw ass. I did not want to see this. No one did. My friend freaking saw this. She was standing next to me. We were like, literally, no. Then this girl was literally right here. This girl, I was standing in front of my friend. I'm out here out loud saying like, I'm gonna tip her over because I don't want to see freaking booty when I'm freaking wa wanting to watch a band here. I didn't pay for this. I don't want to see ass. <sighs> this girl tells this, like this girl is standing, let's call her, I don't know her name, Sarah. So Sarah decides to tell this girl, you know what, get down, you're being disrespectful. People behind you can't see because literally you're blocking everyone's view. Okay, this girl gets down off this guy's shoulders and my hair is a mess. Literally is throwing like a hissy fit. Bitch, literally get it together. You're freaking 13, get over yourself. Okay, so they start performing, you know, everyone's rocking out like, woo, yeah, rock on. Later, it like progresses on, being like it's hot already at this time. Literally, everyone freaking body heat, BO, freaking beat. Learn how to put on the right bitch. I was so I didn't want to be 
either at this point, but you know, just rock on. <laughs> uh, this girl decides to freaking start, you know, cross her. The kid that was with her literally grabs her and throws her up. I was low-key hoping that people would drop her and it kind of happened, but like, you know, I had nothing to do with it. She fell twice. <laughs> Bitch. But you know, I still had nothing to do with that. I wouldn't touch her. I didn't want to see her, literally. So, but like somewhere in between that, the, this girl's friend that was standing right in front of her was like, "I'll push you back, so you can like stumble upon this girl that was like standing next to you." Me being like this, watching her the whole time. I'm not watching her because you know we have better things to do. I was watching her, and literally, she's like, "Yeah, that's a good idea." No, ho, oh, this girl's like older. So, yeah, crowd surfing side to blue, blast off, whatever. This kid with pink hair decides to freaking throw himself right on this girl that was standing like across from me, like this way. Freaking like lands on, like almost lands on her. <laughs> she literally grabs him, like grabs him, pulls him down. Literally freaking knocks him down. And literally freaking grabs him and throws him onto the ground literally he gets up this girl pushes him and that's not the last time we see of him no this guy no he's over here freaking laughing about it like no 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 okay he then proceeds to go a little more back he's behind me and my friend I'm literally to my friend like freaking watch out or he's gonna freaking land on you literally the guy that he was with freaking throws him up no, he gets dropped again, but <laughs> it's still <totally laughs> I'm over here laughing because, you know, it's freaking ridiculous. Don't freaking try to crowd surf on me. And, well, that's the end of that freaking whole Sleeping With Sirens thing. The little day progresses. We see, honestly, we see, like, other brands. We continue on. At this time, it's 8 o'clock. I was, like, ready to leave. I was over at this point. I was freaking dying. Okay. Issues was playing, you know, I, I never heard them. I had the opportunity to meet them, you know, take a picture, but, you know, I didn't want to be a fake fan, so I didn't do it, because, you know, just don't get Well, they start playing, they literally play the theme song to Pokemon, which is, like, everything. But, yeah, literally, mosh pits happen everywhere. There was one that happened be behind us, like, my friends and I, and literally get freaking pushed forward. I get my friend and I my friend and I get pushed this way get pushed this way while my my friend and her boyfriend get pushed that way mosh pits got me messed up literally ridiculous almost in one like three times wasn't about it because I didn't want to get punched in the face because I'm not an idiot so that continues happening okay so there was a mosh pit like about to happen my friend is like by it she like it starts like splitting down the middle and a mosh pit starts happening she literally books it into the mosh pit literally is in there for like five minutes comes out perfectly fine closer to the stage on the other hand her boyfriend is in the mosh pit i don't know for how long gets punched to the face comes out with a bloody nose but i wasn't laughing because you know tear no i was like oh my I was like, dude, not okay. So, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it was something to see, that's for sure. Comes out with a bloody nose while her girlfriend comes out. While his girlfriend comes out, perfectly fine, untouched, didn't lose anything. Like, how does that work? I mean, if I could go into a mosh pit like that and freaking come out perfectly fine, I'd be set for the rest of my life. At this point, I was literally by the side, almost by the side of the stage, pushed this way. Literally, this hoe decides to freaking be like jumping around like, woo, yeah, and freaking steps on my foot. I, oh, I was done. I literally pushed him forward. Literally, he goes like that. He didn't. He didn't even try to look back. And I was like, literally, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna let this hoe mess with me having fun. Last freaking performance of the day. I'm like this the whole time just because I don't want him to freaking bump into me again. Which doesn't happen. The rest is history. So yeah, they they get done performing, we leave. And that's basically it. Getting out of parking was literally a bitch, but besides that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. 
Make sure to subscribe because I make new videos every week. Make sure to follow me on all my social media because you know I would like honestly appreciate it. And comment down below another video that you want me to make, you know. Tell me what you want to see, but yeah. So, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Oops.